this time of year, there are so many mm -hmm. celebrations happening right around the corner. We're talking about Thanksgiving, Christmas, holidays, birthdays, so many celebrations, right? Graduations, but we should also take a moment and celebrate the little things in our everyday life that we might otherwise take for granted. So you may be watching and thinking, well, how can I do this? How can I start celebrating mm -hmm. the small things? Well, our first live guest of the show is here to explain. And you all know her. Her name is Nicole Walters. Of course, she's the certified meditation instructor and owner of Greensboro's Ahava Collective. Good morning, Nicole. As always, it's good to see you on a Monday. Hi, good morning. Always happy to be here. Okay, so we're talking about these small wins, especially mm -hmm. with these upcoming holidays going on, mm -hmm. and you're sort of coming to the end of the year. So yeah. during this time of reflecting, can you sort of explain what it is to celebrate your small wins and why this is important for us? Well, it's important for us because small things done in combination add up to really big things. So oftentimes we tend to wait for a big celebration or a big event to take place um, or for a task to be accomplished. It's almost like we postpone the celebration, but there's little things along the way that get us to that goal that are worth, you know, pausing and taking time um, to recognize and acknowledge, you know, don't let the journey, you know, get lost while we're looking for the destination. It's a really important point too. I feel like I get lost in that a lot too. Mm -hmm. Are there other reasons why we should celebrate the small wins, Nicole? Yeah, so there's a few reasons that, you know, I like to point out for myself as I actively practice all these things that we discuss here each week. Um, the first reason is it just makes you feel good. It makes you feel happy. Um, like a perfect example that I think all of us can relate to is, you know, finally clearing out or responding to a built up stack of emails, right? Like, let's say we have 200 emails and you sit down and you reply to 20 of them. We don't have to wait until we complete all 200 emails before we celebrate. We can say, wow, I made a huge amount of progress in returning those emails or clearing out that, um, you know, that situation. So that's just one example. It makes you feel good if you focus on, um, you know, the, the, the effect that small steps moving in the right direction can give you. And we also have the reasons on the screen mm -hmm. for folks that, um, at home as well. What speaks to me is the third reason about kind of waiting for a large event or celebration, like you said, or like a large um, goal to feel like we've mm -hmm. accomplished. But that's kind of like, you know, don't get too far ahead of yourself. Is that kind of your reasoning behind that? Well, yeah, not necessarily don't get too far ahead of yourself. You got to think about these things as like sort of a bank account, like an investment, you know, like you're you're depositing confidence into your, you know, um, account every time you achieve a small goal. Because for me, especially one thing that I get caught up in is I'll get this mindset of, wow, you know, I. I have so much further to go with this goal. Um, and then when I get really stuck in that mindset of where I want to be or need to be, or more importantly, where I think that I should be, then I start to create a lot of um, discouragement and I actually lack motivation. But when I focus on those small wins along the way, I'm able to you know, deposit some confidence into my account and remind myself, like, look at this progress you're making. And while I still have a long way to go, I'm a lot farther from where I started. Absolutely. And even just seeing right there, on the, we were just showing on the screen, it said motivation to complete and finish out because you do need to have those little small mm -hmm. check in points with yourself to make sure you're still on track. Well, Nicole, I do have to ask you over the weekend, I feel like we are always so busy, but mm -hmm. do you feel like you had any small wins that are even going to help you through the next week that we have ahead? Actually, I do. So I've recently one of the inspirations for this topic today is I've recently started giving myself a sort of a reading goal. I'm one of these people that'll start two or three books, but never finish them. And it's driving me crazy. And there's this one book that I've just given myself a deadline and I've set a little goal for how many chapters I need to read each day in order to meet that goal. And I am happy to announce that Saturday I was able to, you know, reach that daily goal. And that made me feel really good. 
Nicole, I love that. That's my small <laughs> win of the weekend. I was able to finish my book. <laughs> too. Doesn't that make you feel so good? <laughs> it does. It really does. Thank you, Nicole, as always, for joining us. And that is another Meditation Monday in the books, folks. If you found this information helpful, as always, check out the Ahava Collective on their Instagram page as well. It's on your screen. And remember to take a moment to celebrate yourself today.